when I was 17, I got a, 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 a license to operate a commercial radio station a, a, uh, from the Federal Communications Commission, and it had massive information about don't expose yourself or anybody else to radio frequency radiation. It, this stuff will kill you. Well, that didn't work, and so I end up in the hands of Dr. Roland Halsworth in Montrose, who did know the toxicology of it, because he was German. The Germans knew about electrosensitization and chemical sensitization back to the 50s, and Roland is a German licensed naturopathic physician, and he would say, well, you're chemically sensitive, you're electrosensitive as well. I thought, you know, this guy is a little bit out there. We met at a drumming circle. Um, I think this is new age wacko crap. Uh, this is a physicist with an FCC license. One day, Roland looks at me and he says, you know, I'm getting really sick and tired of listening to you whine all the time. I'm telling you what's wrong and you're not listening. So nine o'clock tomorrow morning, I'm coming to your house with my electromagnetic field meters and I'm gonna show you what is making you sick. I had this weird thing where when I laid down in bed, I would get this inflamed sinus drainage. It felt like somebody pouring gasoline down my nose and lighting a match. I mean, pain. So nine o'clock he shows up and he's running through my house with his meter and all of a sudden he stops at the bed and he puts the meter in the middle of the bed and the meter, the needle goes down to zero and he moves the meter up to the where I uh, the headboard where I slept with my pillow and the meter peaked and he moves it back down and it comes down he did this three or four times and I'm looking at that meter going holy criminy and what had happened was there was an aluminum strip coming all the way across the trailer that I had covered with a piece of wood and over on the other side of the trailer, it was going past one of my octopus outlets with about eight cords plugged into it. And it was picking up the electrical field and transferring it through the aluminum. And when I laid down in bed, it was right here. You know, it was like one inch away from my cerebral cortex. And he knew that when you take an electrosensitive and you expose them to high electrical fields, it has terrible reactions in the, sin in the sinus cavities. That was the source of my, my problem. And he says, okay, if you fix this. And I said, right. And he went outside and he drove a brass rod into the ground, ran a copper wire into the, into the house, buried the end and touched it to the aluminum strip. And he says, okay, lay down. And I said, like hell, Roland, this hurts. And he says, oh no, it won't hurt now. I go, okay. And so I lay down and he starts talking to me and talking to me. And in about five minutes, he says, well, how's your sinus? And I looked at him and I went, my God, this is the first time I've ever been able to lay my head on my pillow and not have a headache and, and inflamed sinus. And I said, well, well, it's gone. And his eyes get really big like this. And he says, watch out. And he lifted that ground wire up off of that aluminum strip and a shot, a bowl of pain shot through me like somebody had pulled the trigger and I jumped up out of bed and that is when my denial about the effects of electromagnetic fields vanished.